Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gaines. Coming up, we're giving a swag chain in front of the entire school. That's next on Nine News. Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gaines, and you're watching the... It is a good day to have a great day. Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gange, and we get to celebrate our Nine News Game of the Week, Northridge and Thompson Valley. And if Northridge's senior left tackle Cody Burkholder's day doesn't scream high school football, doesn't scream student athlete, I don't know what will. On the morning of his big game, the dude took a midterm, then an online calculus course, and followed that by writing, as he says, just a couple of college essays. But come on, playing in the Nine News Game of the Week has got to be the par hardest part of his day, right? <laughs> Probably the midterm. That, <laughs> that class is a little bit difficult, but I think football, Tom's Valley is a good opponent. The film we watched, they're big, they're strong, so it should be a good game, but I feel like that midterm was pretty, <laughs> pretty intensive. What was the class? Um, anatomical kinesiology. Oh, yeah, that's definitely the hardest part of the day. <laughs> it definitely was. <laughs> For what it's worth, I've been told that Cody holds a 4.35 GPA and is at the top of his class at Northridge. No biggie. Hey, we also got to connect with the three captains from the Thompson Valley squad before their highly publicized matchup. That's awesome. Uh, we never really expected it. My dad texted me after practice and was like, hey, you're going to be on the news. And I was like, what? <laughs> and so, yeah, it's crazy. Just a small town school. and Yeah. Four straight wins, looking for five against a huge league opponent. What's the mindset going into tonight? I mean, we're just going to play our game like what we've done for the past four weeks. You said we're on a big win streak, so we're just got to get the run game going and play what, do what we do, you know? So, yeah. Mr. Suarez, he says do what you do. What do you guys do? I mean, you've crushed it in the last month. Huge game tonight. What is that that you guys need to do tonight to get a huge win? Dominate on all aspects of the game. I mean, our defense has been killing it. Our offense has been doing really well. I mean, we all play together and blend really good, so that's our thing. It's a game that we got to win. I hope to prove that Thompson Valley is actually something. Play with my brothers, play for the people that played before me, and just excited to come out with the W today. Get out there and play, prove to the world who we are. What's the very best way to kick off the Nine News Game of the Week? You return the kickoff in the Nine News Game of the Week. Come on, Reese Pratt's from the jump. Flashes the speed for a Northridge score. He's fired up, so am I. Hey, message to all the kids out there. If you want to make it on TV, score long touchdowns. That way you're the only one in sight. Christian Chase can't chase him down. Thompson Valley touchdown. But the star of the night is that guy, Jaden Marquez, finds his way in the end zone here. Check him out. Gets hurt doing it, but returns to the game to record his second interception of the night. Helps seal a grisly victory. Northridge, they win by 10. And Jaden is our king of the night, Jaden Marquez. <laughs> Jaden, congratulations, man. Two interceptions tonight. You scored a touchdown, got hurt, got back in the game. How great was tonight for you? Oh, it was just an awesome night. Come out, play really good in front of the home crowd, have a good battle, and have my boys behind my back fighting all night. I love that. You're, you're limping right now. Here you are. You go and you get a game ceiling interception. I mean, how much do you love these guys I back there? I love them with all of my heart, everything I got in my body. I love them so much, you know, and they love me back. This family, this is family right here, and I'm just glad to have them as my teammates and family. You guys love them too? It's time to bring the bling to Chatfield High School because that's where we surprised this, their uh, girls flag football team at their championship pep rally with the nine new swag chain. <laughs> Time to bring the bling, baby. Hey, congratulations to you guys, by the way. Congratulations. It was your homecoming on Saturday. They showed up, dressed up, ready to go for homecoming. After we win, we're going to ride in the party bus and show up to our school. They win a championship and then go back and dance the night away. How cool is that, huh? And to be honest with you, I've never heard of anything more swaggy. So we're here today to give the entire squad the nine new swag chain is the athletes of the week. Let's give it up for them, huh? The swaggiest team in the state of Colorado. I think that we're super cool. I mean, it's a pilot sports thing. It's never happened before. And I'm a senior, so I think it's awesome. And I just hope that it can continue on for all of the other people coming into high school and moving forward. 
Well, we're so happy for you. Hey guys, one more time for the swaggiest team in the state. Pretty fun. Broncos put this <laughs> together. Uh, we've talked about it in the last yeah. hour. Yeah. Chassa hoping to make it a sanctioned sport. Mm -hmm. And the Broncos said, hey, we're actually trying to speed up the process, mm -hmm. make it quicker than I think it's three years. you got to okay. prove that it's a popular sport. Right, right. I'm pretty sure they're proving that it's pretty uh, awesome. For sure. <laughs> well, yeah. especially now they've got even more credit because Clout. of that Look nine new swag, swag chain. chain. I know. Yeah. I mean, Talk what more does Chassa need? That's wow. a one-two punch right there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. It's true. Wow. <laughs> come on. No, but they are. Sell that. That is really cool. And, yeah, I do think they prove why this should have been happening all along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and cool to see, you know, that Chatfield put together a, a whole pep rally, a whole yeah. school to celebrate them. And, and it's cool and, to and see the happen. students show up to support as right. well. Right, the sport started three months ago, yeah. and here's the entire uh, school. Unbelievable. Yeah. On. So pretty so fun. Cool. All yeah. right, we'll be right back.